Otters are fascinating creatures that have captured the hearts of animal lovers all around the world. In this video, we'll explore the world of otters and answer some of the most commonly asked questions about them. From their diet and habitat to their unique behaviors, we'll take a deep dive into the world of these amazing animals. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Let's get started! Why do otters holding hands? One of the most iconic behaviors associated with otters is holding hands while floating on their backs in the water. While this behavior may look cute and playful, it actually serves a practical purpose for the otters. Otters are social animals and often live in groups, especially river otters. When they are resting or sleeping in the water, holding hands helps them stay together and prevent themselves from drifting apart. This is particularly important for mother otters with young pups, as it allows them to keep their young close and protect them from potential predators. Additionally, holding hands may also help otters regulate their body temperature. Otters have a high metabolism and need to eat frequently to maintain their energy levels. As a result, they spend a lot of time in cold water, which can cause them to lose body heat quickly. Holding hands with other otters helps them conserve body heat, as they can huddle together and share their warmth. While holding hands may appear to be a playful behavior, it actually serves an important purpose for otters in terms of social bonding, protection, and thermoregulation. What do otters eat? Otters are carnivorous animals that consume a wide variety of prey, ranging from fish to crustaceans and mollusks. The specific diet of an otter varies depending on the species and the habitat in which they live. River otters, for example, primarily consume fish, although they may also eat crayfish, frogs, and other aquatic creatures. Sea otters, on the other hand, have a more diverse diet that includes a variety of shellfish, such as clams, mussels, and sea urchins. Otters have even been known to use rocks to crack open hard-shelled prey. Giant otters, which live in the Amazon basin, are apex predators and consume a range of fish, including catfish, piranhas, and even caiman. In contrast, the small-clawed otter, which is native to Southeast Asia, feeds primarily on crabs and other small invertebrates. Otters are also opportunistic feeders, meaning they will take advantage of whatever prey is available in their habitat. For example, if fish are scarce, an otter may switch to feeding on frogs or other prey. In addition to their natural prey, otters may also scavenge for food, such as carrion or discarded fish from fishing boats. However, this behavior can be dangerous for otters, as they may ingest fishing line or other debris. Otters are highly adaptable and skilled hunters that consume a diverse range of prey. As top predators in their respective habitats, they play a crucial role in maintaining the ecological balance of aquatic ecosystems. Where do otters live? Otters are semi-aquatic mammals that can be found in a variety of habitats around the world, including freshwater rivers, lakes, and streams, as well as coastal marine environments. The specific habitat of an otter depends on the species and their geographic range. River otters, for example, are found in North and South America and can be found in a range of freshwater habitats, including rivers, lakes, and wetlands. They are well adapted to life in and around water, with webbed feet, streamlined bodies, and thick fur that provides insulation and buoyancy. Sea otters, on the other hand, are found along the coasts of the northern Pacific Ocean, from Alaska to Japan. They are the only marine otter species and spend their entire lives in the water, relying on their dense fur to stay warm in cold ocean environments. Giant otters are found in South America, primarily in the Amazon basin, where they inhabit rivers and lakes. They are the largest of the otter species and are well adapted to life in the water, with webbed feet and powerful jaws that allow them to catch and eat a variety of prey. Other otter species, such as the small-clawed otter and the smooth-coated otter, are found in freshwater habitats in Asia, including rivers, streams, and wetlands. As highly adaptable and skilled swimmers, otters can be found in a wide range of aquatic habitats around the world. Their ability to thrive in both freshwater and marine environments has helped them to become one of the most beloved and well-known animal species on the planet. How do otters swim? Otters are well known for their remarkable swimming abilities, which are the result of a number of adaptations that allow them to move effortlessly through water. These adaptations include their streamlined bodies, webbed feet, and thick, waterproof fur. 
When swimming, otters use their powerful hind legs to propel themselves through the water, while their forelimbs are used for steering and maneuvering. Their webbed feet, which are connected by skin, act like paddles, providing them with a large surface area to push against the water. This allows them to move quickly and efficiently through the water even when swimming against a strong current. Otters are also able to hold their breath for extended periods of time, allowing them to stay submerged for several minutes while hunting or exploring underwater environments. Their thick fur, which is made up of two layers, provides insulation and buoyancy, helping them to stay warm and afloat in cold water. In addition to swimming, otters are also able to dive and catch prey underwater. They are known for their ability to use rocks to crack open the hard shells of shellfish, such as clams and mussels, and are skilled hunters that can catch a variety of aquatic prey. Otters are well adapted to life in the water and have evolved a number of specialized adaptations that allow them to move effortlessly through their aquatic habitats. Their swimming abilities are not only impressive but also essential to their survival and play a crucial role in maintaining the health and balance of aquatic ecosystems. What is the difference between a sea otter and a river otter? Sea otters and river otters are two different species of otters that inhabit different types of aquatic environments and have a few key physical differences. Sea otters are the largest of the otter species and are the only marine otter. They are found along the coasts of the northern Pacific Ocean, from Alaska to Japan. Unlike other marine mammals, such as seals and whales, sea otters lack a thick layer of blubber to keep them warm in cold ocean waters. Instead, they rely on their dense fur, which is the thickest of any mammal, to keep them insulated and buoyant in the water. In contrast, river otters are smaller than sea otters and are found in freshwater environments, such as rivers, streams, and lakes. They are distributed throughout North and South America and are well adapted to life in and around water, with webbed feet, streamlined bodies, and thick fur that provides insulation and buoyancy. Another difference between sea otters and river otters is their diet. Sea otters primarily feed on a variety of shellfish, such as clams, mussels, and crabs, which they crack open with stones. River otters, on the other hand, have a more varied diet that includes fish, crayfish, frogs, and other aquatic prey. In terms of behavior, sea otters are known for their playful and social nature, often seen floating on their backs and grooming their fur. River otters are also social animals, but tend to be more solitary in nature. While sea otters and river otters share many physical characteristics and are both skilled swimmers and hunters, they inhabit different environments and have a few key differences in terms of size, diet, and behavior. What are the predators of otters? Otters are predators themselves, but they do have natural predators that pose a threat to them, especially young or weak individuals. In freshwater environments, such as rivers and lakes, otters may be preyed upon by large fish, such as pike, bass, and catfish. Other potential predators include birds of prey, such as eagles and owls, that may take young or weak otters from the water's edge. In marine environments, sea otters may face predation from sharks, killer whales, and larger marine mammals such as sea lions and seals. In fact, sea otters were once hunted to the brink of extinction by humans for their luxurious fur, which made them vulnerable to predation by these larger marine predators. In addition to natural predators, otters also face threats from human activities such as habitat loss, pollution, and accidental entanglement in fishing gear. Despite these threats, many otter populations have rebounded in recent years thanks to conservation efforts aimed at protecting their habitats and reducing human impact on their ecosystems. How do otters mate? Otters mate in a way that is unique among mammals and involves a lot of physical interaction and playfulness. When a female otter is in heat, she will attract the attention of male otters through vocalizations and scent markings. Male otters may compete for her attention by displaying their physical prowess and engaging in playful behaviors, such as chasing each other, wrestling, and rolling around in the water. Once a male and female otter have paired off, they will engage in a mating ritual that involves a lot of physical contact and vocalizations. The male will grasp the female around the neck with his teeth and they will roll around in the water, often accompanied by loud vocalizations. After mating, the female will give birth to a litter of one to six pups, depending on the species of otter. The gestation period varies between species but is typically around two to three months. The pups are born with their eyes closed and are completely dependent on their mother for the first few months of their lives. What are the different species of otters? 
There are 13 recognized species of otters, which are members of the Mustelidae family, also known as the weasel family. Otters are found in a range of aquatic habitats, including freshwater rivers and lakes, coastal waters, and marine environments. The largest and most well-known species of otter is the sea otter and Hydra lutris, which is found along the coasts of the northern Pacific Ocean. Sea otters have a dense, waterproof coat of fur, which helps them stay warm in cold water. They are skilled hunters and use their paws and teeth to catch a variety of prey, including clams, crabs, and sea urchins. The other marine otter species is the marine otter, Lon Trafalina, which is found along the southern coast of South America. Marine otters are smaller than sea otters and have a thinner coat of fur, as they inhabit warmer waters. They primarily feed on marine invertebrates, such as crabs and shellfish. River otters are found throughout much of the Americas, from Canada to South America. There are several species of river otters, including the North American river otter, Lontra canadensis, the Neotropical river otter, Lontra longicaudis, and the giant otter, Terranura brasiliensis. River otters are primarily fish eaters but will also consume other aquatic animals, such as crayfish, frogs, and turtles. Small clawed otters, Aeonyx cinerea, and smooth coated otters, Lutrigale perspicillata, are found in freshwater environments throughout Asia. Small clawed otters are the smallest species of otter, while smooth coated otters are larger and more aquatic in their habits. Both species primarily feed on fish and crustaceans. The African clawless otter, Aeonyx capensis, is found throughout much of sub Saharan Africa and is primarily a fish eater. The hairy-nosed otter, Lutra sumatrana, is found in Southeast Asia and primarily feeds on fish and crustaceans. Overall, otters are a diverse group of aquatic mammals with a wide range of adaptations and behaviors to suit their respective environments. Despite the challenges they face from habitat loss and other threats, many species of otters continue to thrive in their natural habitats, bringing joy to many who observe them. How do otters groom themselves? Otters are well known for their grooming habits and spend a significant amount of time each day cleaning and maintaining their fur. They have dense fur that provides insulation and helps them stay warm in cold water, but this also means that their fur can easily become matted or waterlogged. To keep their fur in good condition, otters use a variety of grooming techniques. One of the most common is rolling in sand or dirt, which helps to remove any dirt or debris from their fur. Otters also use their paws to groom their fur, running their hands through it to remove tangles and smooth it out. In addition to grooming themselves, otters also rely on the oils in their fur to keep it waterproof and well insulated. They produce these oils from specialized glands near their tail and spread them throughout their fur using their paws and mouth. Otters are highly social animals and will also groom each other as a form of bonding and social interaction. This behavior is often observed in family groups, where individuals will help groom each other's fur and remove any parasites or debris. How do otters hunt for food? Otters are skilled hunters and use a variety of techniques to catch their prey, depending on their species and the type of prey they are targeting. River otters are primarily fish eaters and use their powerful swimming abilities to chase and catch fish underwater. They will also hunt for other aquatic animals such as crayfish, frogs, and turtles. River otters have strong jaws and teeth, which they use to crush the hard shells of their prey. Sea otters, on the other hand, have a more diverse diet and will hunt for a wide range of marine animals, including clams, crabs, sea urchins, and abalone. They use their front paws and sharp teeth to pry open shells and extract the meat inside. Otters are also known to use tools to aid in their hunting. For example, sea otters will use rocks to break open the shells of their prey, while river otters may use sticks to dislodge prey from rocks or vegetation. Otters are opportunistic hunters and will adapt their hunting strategies to suit the available prey in their environment. They are efficient and skilled hunters, relying on their speed, agility, and intelligence to catch the food they need to survive. How do otters play and socialize? Otters are highly social animals and engage in a range of playful and social behaviors with other otters. These behaviors play an important role in otter society, helping to build and maintain social bonds, establish dominance hierarchies, and provide opportunities for learning and exploration. One of the most well-known social behaviors of otters is their playfulness. Otters are highly active and curious animals, and will often engage in playful activities such as chasing, wrestling, and sliding down mud or snow banks. 
they are also known to play with objects, such as shells or rocks, and may toss them back and forth between each other. Otters also engage in social grooming, where they use their paws and teeth to groom each other's fur. This behavior helps to remove parasites and debris from their fur, as well as strengthen social bonds between group members. In addition to play and grooming, otters also communicate with each other through a range of vocalizations, including whistles, chirps, and grunts. They also use body language, such as tail wagging and posturing, to convey their intentions and emotions. Otters typically live in family groups, with a dominant male and female pair and their offspring. These family groups may come together to form larger social groups during feeding or resting periods, providing further opportunities for socialization and play. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content about animals and nature. Do you have any personal experiences with otters or interesting facts about them that you'd like to share? We would love to hear from you in the comments section below. Your feedback helps us improve our content and bring you more of what you want to see. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.